Ghana, a country in Africa, and one of the most beautiful and amazing places in the world. Even though rather small in area and in population, it is one of the most leading countries in Africa. It is leading because of its natural world and also because it's the first black African country in the south of Sahara to gain its independence from colonial rule. Jamestown is one of the oldest districts in Accra and also a home for the guns. Jamestown is the best place to experience pieces and bits of colonial rule. Now, Nima is considered to be the largest and one of the oldest Songo communities in Ghana, with its origins to as far back as 1836. Behind me is the Holy Spirit Cathedral. It is the seat of the Catholic Archdiocese of Accra. Its imposing architecture is second to none in the country. I am at the Independence Square. Now, the Independence Square is one of the most popular tourist sites in Ghana and also the second largest city square in the world. It was built in 1961 and it is a site where Ghana parade for Ghana independence every year on the seat of March. This is the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. It's the premier healthcare facility in Ghana and the biggest third referral center in Africa. It was built under the administration of Sir Gordon Gorgesberg in October 9, 1923. Behind me is the Ghana National Mosque. Now, this is the University of Ghana. It is the premier and largest university in Ghana. It was founded as the University of Gold Coast by ordinance on 11 August 1948. Ghanaian food is a food for the Ghanaian people. And one of the things that's unique is our Ghanaian food. Now we have so many different varieties of food, which is fufu, Ghana jollof, banku, and so many others. But what we have here is banku and okra stew, jollof rice, and we have gari photo. Let's dig in. 2016, I was in Akron, Ohio, for the Community Solution Fellowship Program. I worked directly under Michelle Wilson and her team. I stayed at the Corsin Avenue with Judy Casey, Paul Jeffrey, and Rosemary Raymond. My experience in Akron was amazing, exciting, and life-changing because of the people. They were loving, welcoming, and exceedingly supportive. Before I traveled to the US, my greatest fears was about the winter. Quite surprisingly, my snow experience with the famous Don Drum became the viral happy moment on social media. It was well captured by Jolie Miller and Shane Wayne for the Devil Street newspaper of Akron and became a point of wider connections and opportunities for myself and many others. This documentary showcased the Akron Accra story, the people, the connections, and how all of this is gradually transforming into a meaningful partnerships. the Accra Metropolitan Assembly that it's set up by an Act of Parliament um, at Ninth Races uh, to manage the city, both the legislative functions, development functions, and administrative functions as well, all are um, embedded in the powers of the city managers, that's the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Indeed, it's a linkage and synchronization of activities also with national government because it expects also that national government has an interest in it. You will appreciate that because this is a capital city, in itself is an attraction because all major activities are here. But the unique attributes of the people, very friendly, but highly entrepreneurial makes the city very dynamic and bustling all the time. In 2015, I actually met a delegation uh, from the city of Akron in Tel Aviv. And uh, basically, they were there um, to attend a water conference, WATEC, in, in Israel. Um, we met up and we had extensive conversations around um, the potential of um, Ghana and Akron uh, you know, in, in relation to developing relationships. 
And um, subsequent to that, I uh, had visits when I returned to Ghana to the then mayor, uh, Mayor Kuvandapoy, who um, immediately embraced the opportunity. Um, that was around October uh, 2015. Later that year, December, he led a team a delegation to the city of Akron to go and sign a sister city agreement with the mayor for Akron. At that time, it was um, former mayor Fusco. Um, and that, uh, I would say, um, was the beginning of a very wonderful relationship between the cities of Accra and uh, Akron. In the area of health, we have initiated partnership between Ghana's premier hospital, Kolebu Tichin Hospital, and many top hospitals in Akron, particularly the Akron Children's Hospital. We also received 23 student journalists from Kent State University who came all over to Accra for international storytelling program, and that deepened the people-to-people -people connection. In the area of education and diplomacy, we have engaged over 250 young students between Akron and Accra, connecting them virtually for the purpose of education and international diplomacy. In 2017, with funding from the U.S. State Department, Michel Wilson traveled to Accra to deepen the connection and assist in training about 150 young and religious leaders in conflict management and peace building. When Michel Wilson came over to Accra, we used that opportunity to mobilize artisans, mostly women from Accra and Kumasi, to benefit from the International Global Art Exchange Program that allows them to export their craft works to the world through Accra. Through uh, Zobi, I met Michelle. She came down from Akron to meet some people in Zobi, and they had this Zongo Fest at Kaokudi Park, where I got to meet Michelle. She told me about her business and stuff, and she saw some items from me, bought, and she was so much in love with them. And since she went back, I've been exporting. She will call other. And one thing I like about her too is she's very understanding. She tried to like put me in the line of business. And I'm really grateful to Michelle. I'm really, really grateful to her. Our main contact with the people of Akron or the city of Akron is through the UGVS Innovation Hub that we are constructing and hoping to go live April 1, 2021. And some of the people I've interacted with are wonderful people from the city of Akron. In fact, we are trying to build a partnership with the Abounds Center, uh, where Sam Dishozwa is, is helping us uh, to, 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 to build those networks. Again, we are working with someone like Michelle, who works with the, uh, the Global Ties Office of, of, of Akron, and she's been great, a super, or uh, a great resource in terms of writing grant proposals to get sponsorship for the, for the activities that we are trying to run. Um, my project manager, uh, Mrs. Norty, also schooled at the University of Akron and she has very fond memories in the, with the people of, I think the Department of Urban Planning and she has very nice things to say about, about the people out there. I would say they are lovely people, they are very nice people and open-minded. They make a visit to us with their family and I think it's something if we also have the opportunity, we should also do the same to them. When uh, I remember before they would leave Ghana, we had a dinner in my house. Even though they, they are here for a short trip, it's like we are family members already. We, we, we sit together, dine and wine together. And surprisingly, I think we have a culture of giving. But these white folks also bring gifts to us in Ghana here, which I'm very, very happy to see that kind of exchange of culture. Akron people are very nice people. They are very lovely. And I, I, I think we should be able to do something together with them in the nearby future. Partnership is the way to go today. 
even when you look at Ghana, without these foreign partners, we will be nowhere. So if Ghanaian businesses can also get partners in Accra, I bet you we are going to get a lot of employment here. People, businesses are going to be boom and then everybody will be happy. The future is bright because we are in Africa and today business is Africa. We have the resource and they have the money. So if we come together, we can make a better tomorrow. So, um, premised on the leadership of the former mayor, uh, Okuvan Dapoi, of course, we support also by the current mayor, um, we proceeded to set up a board to basically uh, support the vision of, uh, of the spirit of the agreement that was signed. So I'm, I'm particularly excited because since then, a lot of many initiatives have, have come out of that. If you look at what the folks in the University of Ghana business who are trying to form a, some kind of a hub, incubator to support businesses, uh, both in Accra and, and Akron. If we look at what the Zungu um, incubator has also done, and many other initiatives like that, it all goes to the, the heart of the spirit of trying to engender growth, engender uh, creativity, innovation between both cities of Accra and Akron. As far as um, Akron is concerned, I have had the opportunity to, uh, to travel around and uh, they have a very unique, uh, useful and dependable water system, which um, I, we are hoping we could share technology also even with us so that uh, we can manage also our water system very efficiently. Uh, we've entered into a very useful arrangement and Accra um, have benefited a lot from this by opening up our formal institutions to have a direct um, relationship with their counterparts in Accra and also exchange programs that will open a lot of doors as well. And we'll continue to pursue that and other programs as well. Uh, we are quite hopeful that as we grow, uh, the entire city will come to learn and appreciate the benefits that have derived from this relationship. And it could be celebrated annually for us to, to know that we're doing this for the next generation also to come and continue.